My favorite thing about owning a vintage shop is when I find a piece that I, I, I just, ooh, I see it and I just go, ooh, I really, really like that. And if it manages to make it into the shop and not stay at my house because I really, really like it, having someone walk in and get that same look on their face when they see it. Hi, I'm Lisa Madrid. I'm the owner at Retro A Go Go, uh, located at 225 East Chicago Street in Elgin, Illinois. We are a store that specializes in items um, from the 1940s through the 1970s. Kind of pick that niche and it's pretty popular with the young hipsters and also as well as um, people that grew up with this find it very nostalgic. So we have a lot of fun with it. I've been an antique collector um, for over 20 years. I bought a house here in Elgin that was built in 1959. I just sort of gravitated towards that period. Moved in there and my antiques that I had been collecting for, you know, 15, 20 years did not look good in there. Just So I decided I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I opened a booth at a local antique store and started selling off some of my antiques. A couple of my girlfriends got into it with me and helped me find stuff. And next thing you know, my house became literally a warehouse and I decided to open a store. I have literally enough inventory at my house. I could literally open two stores like this. So there's, there is a possibility that there's gonna be a second location. <laughs> Can you guys tell that I have a lamp fetish? I mean, there's like a bazillion freaking lamps in here and every single one of them, except for maybe that green pineapple lamp. Um, almost every one of these lamps I, I almost want in my house. But uh, yeah, so that's, it's really hard for me to part with them. We, um, we don't just have um, furniture here, we also have a basement full of vintage clothes. We call it Stella's Basement, after my Basset Hound. Um, we, ha we have anything probably like early 90s and older down there. We also have an area of what we call mantiques, because most of the clothing down there is for women, so we have to have something to keep the guys busy while the girls are trying stuff on. So we have a mantique area, which is kind of fun. I feel that we have really good quality items at, at reasonable prices. I know that there are some of the shops in the city that sell items similar to mine that are three times as much. So we, we try to draw people from the city to come out here and shop because they're going to get a good deal. So it's worth cruising all the way from Chicago out to Elgin. And, um, but I get a, sometimes we get people that just come in here and just shamelessly lowball. And it's like, really? It, 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 no, no, just get the hell out. You know, that's kind of what I feel like saying. I've never done it yet, but one of these days I'm gonna go, get out of my shop. But uh, <laughs> so my hours are 11 in the morning until eight at night. And I stay open late because that way people that have jobs during the day can come shop here. Again, I'm not an antique store, though. I always make sure that people know that, you know, we're not an antique store, we're a vintage store. People should stop at that. People should shop at Retro Go Go because we have the coolest hip, it's the... Okay, you guys, you're gonna put this on camera or on your pillow, I know it. <laughs>